Neo is saying my Binance keeps telling me to change to the pro version na CEO ni kwa Play Store. Your pro version is on the Binance app itself. When you open your Binance app, there's a homepage down here. On the far left, there's a yellow Binance icon. Click on that icon. When you click on that icon, up chini utaona Binance Lite. So you can choose to go to Binance Lite or you can choose to go to Binance Pro. It's not on Play Store. It's on your app itself. Daniel Kibet, let money work for you. Exactly. I didn't get to see where you clicked before buying because of my phone. The details are small. If you're going to use your laptop, you go to trade and then you go to P2P. P2P basically means buying your crypto from peer to peer. Buying crypto from other sellers is there a way to withdraw the money without passing by p2p natasha i would suggest p2p it is easier it is faster i personally do p2p i prefer it it's just much better is it guaranteed that once i stake i'll get the tokens Kubahatisha. dolphin it's guaranteed oh my gosh because it's guaranteed. I want to show you what I mean by CEO Kubatisha. Let's start with Ivo Dolphy. I staked my money in Ivo. Okay. You can see the farming period was five days. When you come to my wallet, I gained 22 is now currently worth $66. I'm getting a lot of money, quote unquote, also because I have put a lot of money. If you're going to, let's say, start with 50 or a hundred dollars or five hundred dollars, you might get maybe six to fifteen dollars. You get what I mean? I've put more money, right? That's why I'm able to gain sixty six dollars worth of passive income from one launch pool. So I finished Ivo and then I went to eight five. This one. The farming was four days. When you go back to my wallet, again, you can see I gained $7 worth of ETH5. They are currently worth $40. That's also proof that it's actually true that you gain money from it. But I can show you guys that it's actually money that I have received and not at the money that I have used myself. You see, like the Ivo one, when you come to these three dots and you click details, you're going to see something, distribution launch pool. It's not like I put my money. When you put your money FDUSD to be locked, you will see the money is automatically added to your account. When did this launch pool end? Let's look at Ivo. The launch pool ended on 13th March, 2024. When you come here, guys, when did this thing end? 13th March 2024 and the money was credited to my account 22.5 there's even a part it shows you that your investment was zero because I was given the money I didn't put my own money there's a part it shows you that on Binance here instead of distribution Ingesema purchase Ingesema P2P because I have bought it with my own money but it's saying distribution because I was given the money back to the question for what's her name again Dolphin yes it is guaranteed that once you stake you're going to get the tokens added to your account and you're going to get both your principal amount and the tokens that you've earned that's why guys i'm using the same two thousand dollars in my account for all the launch pools i just decided because the two thousand dollars was idle money so it can keep making for me money like what's the point of it seated in my bank account what at least on the side instead of spending that money on a holiday right now or a tv because i want one can it make me enough money to buy that tv actually without me spending that money actually that would be a good idea how i bought my tv using Using launch pool money hmm. that video would do so well how do you know how much you're going to get <laughs> from the money you staked on the launch pools good question tracy you really don't know <laughs> why each launch pool has a different budget different farming period and different owners of the company it's it's just dependent on the budget for that launch pool they had rewards 45 million worth of rewards now you can calculate how much it is with the 45 million and then if you can look at it five they only had 20 million the budget is lower enna why i gained so much guys look at their budget 300 million one enna token was i think launched at almost a dollar can you imagine so it depends with the budget of the project wanjiko is saying so what happens after lapse of the four days of staking can i move my money to another coin yes yes girl yes 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 let me tell you guys the difference when i was participating in this launch pools let me show you guys the difference of you see nfp a launch pool ai a launch pool x ai a launch pool when you come here 
you will see I participated NFP, a launch pool, XAI, a launch pool, and AI, a launch pool. But the difference is, guys, I wasn't really putting much money. The more money you have, and that's why I said, if you have idle money seated somewhere, have faith in me, have faith in Binance, have faith in ONR. I cannot lead you guys into problems to lose your money. My own money is here. When I was participating this time, you can see I didn't have that much money. Hence why I was only making $2. Now look at the difference. The main cap, 39, 66, and so on and so forth. And I remember I asked myself in February, why am I looking at money in my account? Because I was saving towards something and then I changed my mind towards it. So I had a lot of idle money just chilling. And I was like, wait, Olive. And these launch pools have been participating and I've been getting to, to monies. What would happen if I put this 200k here and then I see what I would gain? Let me put it in launch pools. Guys, hey, Nimongia launch pools February, March, or April, because I couldn't believe it. I'm like, in two months, my 200k that was just chilling has already made me almost 40k. What? So anyway, back to Anjiko. She wanted to know if she can convert the money. Yes. So once you receive the money in your wallet, click convert. Cl convert means I can put it back into FDUSD. One IVO token is 2.9 FDUSD. If one is two, let's just say we, we change five. Yeah, five is $14. As soon as the money hits your account, Wanjiko, you can convert it into FDUSD. Go to P2P, sell your money instantly and get it in your account. Ah, sis. Click convert and then here it is. You're converting five IVO tokens into four FDSD. You're going to receive $14 worth of FDSD. Okay, so it's saying my quote has expired because crypto markets are quite fast. So the price that it was there, it's already changed. I think one is better. If it allows me, me I'll do one. Yeah, it's allowed me. So I can just say convert. I'll get 2.9, confirm conversion, and then done, success. The money has been converted to FDUSD. Now my IVO is 21 tokens, and now my FDUSD has gone up. Nime pata my $2. It's instant. You can transfer this. You can move it to now P2P where you sell it. Transfer it to funding. And then, some mosquito guys, you can say max, and then confirm. So now it's moved to my funding wallet. Let's go back to funding. And then when it's here, what I meant to say, guys, is when you're in your funding wallet, you can now proceed to convert your FDUSD to USDT. You can come to P2P and sell your USDT. So you would move the buy because you can see it's automatically on buy. And then you go to sell and you'd be able to sell your USDT immediately. Sure, maybe later you can do a video on how to best secure our accounts. Given it can act as a second bank account, how do you keep it safe? And what if those coins don't do well after a month or go to the negatives because I'm a hodler? It's a hit or miss. And that's where the research comes. That's where dollar cost averaging comes. What I would suggest is when the coin has been listed and you see the money is good, sell 50%, then keep the other 50% in the hopes that it might do well. And if it doesn't, well, you know, it was a risk worth taking. Is there a possibility of going on a loss? I don't know how you'd go on a loss because your FDUSD will go back to your account. When you get the tokens, you will sell them unless you plan to hold them. The listing price was like $10 and then it goes down to $1. I guess the free money is now worthless right it's now worth less money i mean you don't really lose you just lose out on more profits if you don't sell so i would suggest 50 percent on listing that's what is working for me right now is it a wise idea to be a hodler for launch pools i'd say yes if you take some time to read about this project they're really cool projects they're really really trying to innovate the space yes i'm still a hodler but 50 percent not 100 should one stick or just leave the money as fdusd when you leave your money as fdusd in your spot wallet right it does not automatically stake itself guys when you put your money on binance there are two ways for you to know when launch pools are happening one you have to check your binance app regularly and then you're going to get a notification on your Binance account that a launch pool is happening. However, if you're not up to that vibe, there's a way you can automatically put your coins locked such that when a launch pool comes and ends, you just keep earning money in your account without you actively going to stake it yourself. I have done a video on YouTube that I have shared that process. I've even showed people where to go. Here it is. What is Binance Launch Pool Deep Dive? The people who watch this video, I'm sure already know what I was saying. Two ways of staking your crypto for Binance Launch Pool. Go to this timestamp, 11 minutes and 26 seconds. In this timestamp, I'm sharing with you the two ways. The manual way, which I've showed you guys today, and the automatic way where if let's say you're busy, some of you are moms, some of you are building your businesses, some of you are busy 
eight to five hours. Life is life for all of us. And you still want to make money passively, right? Please watch that video. Please take your money. If you don't take your money, you will not earn from launch pools. If you just buy FDUSD, Kayapoko account, ah, guys, you are the same, same way. If you go to a bank and you go and tell them, oh, I want you to automatically send money from this account to that account, they do it, right? There's also a way on Binance for you to automatically do that. Is this launch pool program happening forever? Okay, Jen, do we really know if they're going to be there forever? Because Binance as a company is consistently running every day, right? Unless crypto stops becoming crypto and then no companies release their projects, then maybe launch pools will end. But for now, as long as there's crypto in the space, there will be innovation. Right now, now they're AI-based cryptos. Like, it's a constant innovation. I also can't say it's for a fixed period of time. It's not. It's going to be there every other month. Some months, you can have maybe one launch pool on a good month, like in March. There were like four launch pools. So the tokens you're talking about that you've been rewarded, this is Tracy. You mean coins. Like, you now already have three Saga coins so far. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so the tokens I'm talking about that have been awarded are coins. Why did you choose to use FDSD than BNB? FDSD is a stable amount. It's a dollar. I'm literally just buying a dollar. But when you do BNB, you're actually investing in BNB. BNB is a project. And currently, one BNB is how much? You can see here, one BNB is $584. One FDSD is a dollar. You see, this is what we bought, FDSD. It's literally a dollar. So even when I buy $50, I'm okay with it. And it's also easier for me to see when I put $50, how much I've gained as compared to putting BNB. Now, is it bad for you to put BNB? No. Putting BNB is also kind of like you're investing in BNB, right? But with FDSD, I'm not really investing in FDSD. I'm just putting some idle money that I have. But if I buy BNB, if BNB goes down, the value of my BNB goes down. If the BNB value goes up, it also goes up. So you choose you what you prefer. Do you want stability or do you want an investment type of coin? BNB, you would gain in two ways. You will gain from the launch pool, but you'll also gain if BNB goes up. But with FDUSD, you're not going to gain because FDUSD will forever be at a dollar, unless obviously the dollar to Kenya shilling gone up, the Kenya shilling is bad. But with FDUSD, it will not really change as much or as serious as BNB. That's why I choose to put more FDUSD than BNB. But have I staked BNB? Yes. I have like one point something. So I do have BNB, but I don't add BNB because unless I want to add BNB as an investor, but right now I'm not trying to add it. So Razor, anyway, it's free. Thank you so much, Olivia. The best. Thank you guys so much. Evelyn, I have understood. I really, really appreciate you guys hopping on this live in 24 hours. Visit this session on YouTube. Watch it. In case you have any questions, ask on the comments. Please, please ask on the comments. Thank you guys for the claps. I can see them. Jen, thank you. Nesta, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it with all my heart. Gideon, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Jane, Christy, Josephine, Reza, Wendy. Oh my gosh, you guys are many. Peggy, thank you guys so much. I will always share what I learn and I mean how we are making money out here and I'm grateful that I get to share with you guys as it is. So I want to wrap this session up. What about the WhatsApp? You know capital letters usually feel like you're shouting at someone like what about the WhatsApp group? Yes, you can talk amongst yourselves, Charles. But if you have so many questions, guys, please, 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 that's a happy you'll have to pay me and I charge currently 3500 an hour. So yeah, guys if you have many many questions about crypto please just put all of them in a document and be like hi olive please just show me these things show me step by step the way you do it in your sessions i really want to understand currently i'm charging 3500 that's basically it guys thank you so much for being here i love you guys so much have a lovely evening i hope you guys learned a lot the video will be uploaded on youtube i will share this link as well on emails that's pretty much it good night guys bye Bye, Harry.